son Katie. Today, September 10th. Oh, it's nice because we are more than halfway through the season, right? Less than three months left. Um, but did you know from August 1st, to the end of hurricane season. That's when 90% of our hurricanes occur. And yes, we're already through August. That's good. We're already middle uh, midway through uh, September, but we're going to continue to watch the activity in the coming uh, weeks. And did you know there's actually a little secondary hump by early to mid October as well. The season, by the way, ends November 30th. So we will continue to keep you posted uh, each and every day here. Make sure you're checking in too in the next five days because while Mindy is out, uh, Larry continues to weaken and move up toward the north quickly. We've got an area moving in uh, off of the west coast of Africa into the Atlantic Ocean and another area off into the Caribbean that will likely spread tropical moisture toward Texas in the next week. We've crossed A through M off the list. The M named storm or the 13th named storm. The average day for that is October 24th and again September 10th. We are well ahead of schedule. So 2021 season is definitely proving to be above average as expected. And for the month of September, we kind of look out toward the main development region, right? And the ITCZ region of the Atlantic, but also those other hot spots like deep in the Caribbean, deep into the Gulf of Mexico. And what did we see with Ida? That's where that storm really blossomed. So again, just something to kind of keep in the back of your mind for the next.